it's more about the energy. It's just honestly, it comes down to the energy and the presentation of what someone's going through and how I would meet them with herbs. A herb like Shadavari, which is a very beautiful, I think sensual herb that is very much linked in with sort of a woman's herb because it has such an effect on the menstrual cycle and it is a beautiful herb for women, but it's a beautiful herb for everyone in many different ways, you know? And even like those really kind of, we think of them as like really yang ginsengs, like Panax ginseng or Korean ginseng. And we'd think more to like apply those to sort of men, but I just do not think that is true in terms of how we can apply it to all people, just in, if it suits, if the presentation's correct, if the energy's correct, if the dose is correct, it's just about listening. I think it's just about listening. Or like I might think, yeah, like a herb like rose is just really feminine. You know, we use that like soft feminine, the unfolding, the petals of rose. But I know a lot of people who could do with rose. Heart and medicine. Mm. It's just heart medicine. So I just challenge that a little bit in the plant clinic, but it's my own perspective. But it doesn't mean it has to be true for you. You know, and I do think that eons of information around herbs that would be supportive for a menstrual cycle and say supportive for sperm motility. Of course, I understand that they're applied to like this male identified person or this woman identified person. But at the same time, I'm just challenging that idea of that, that actually isn't everybody as well. There's just, there's nuances. So we just need to open up space for nuance. 